all right so far in our video manager we have added comments to individual videos but then you know if you see these comments are not real time which means i add a comment again sorry and if i hit save very well it comes here but for this user there is no way to know that a new comment has been posted till he does a refresh which is not something which we want we want some real time you know updates to this area and that's where we will use pusher to get the job done i have a small you know ppt to explain the things before we dive in so let's say this is our client you know i as a user did the ajax call through view component which went to my laravel application this is our api okay a comment was created here and when the comment is created we raise an event okay this event is broadcasted to pusher and then pusher broadcast that same event to all the clients which are connected which means now this user is able to interact with all these users who are connected through pusher right and that's where the real time communication works that if i do anything here it is propagated through this chain and as a real time activity these three clients or all the other clients connected to pusher will get those uh, updates instantly and that's where you know through javascript we can handle those real time updates so yeah that's what we are trying to achieve in this video um so the first thing which i'll have to do is do composer require or rather let me see if i have already done that uh it's pusher slash php right so i'm going to require composer require pusher pusher php server okay let's hit that and in the meantime i'll also need to install two npm libraries and those two are going to be npm i have i have them installed actually so npm install yes so i will install laravel echo and pusher js okay and i'll save them on my composer sorry package.json okay while this is you know getting downloaded we'll go to pusher okay i am already logged in but you can uh, now create an account if you don't have one um there is a free tier available where you know certain uh, requests in a day are free for example here you know i have around 200000 uh, messages per day which are free i have used 8 so far and we will create an app so i have these two apps i'll create a new one we will name it my video manager okay um let's use empty one i'm keeping it simple because you know all the environment variables are like that i'll select laravel really doesn't matter okay i hit create app and i get certain informations the most important thing will be obviously the app keys okay um so let's quickly see how we can get them i saw some yeah this is this is the env i'll just copy them everything is nicely you know given i like that in our env file i'll come over here so you can see cluster is empty one i already selected that so i don't need to change anything you can do that if you want to uh, right now i'm okay with it sockets are anyways faster so app id app key app secret these things are done okay i'll i can close my env file um now few setups if you would have seen um inside app.php okay where we have the service providers this thing is generally commented you need to uncomment it okay so i have broadcast service provider and now okay my my composer package is installed and my npm package is installed so now if i do 
php artisan route list i'll see certain um this uri is visible broadcast slash auth okay and if you go into routes channels.php this is the one okay so uh, we are not doing anything right now with that but we do need to change one thing which is in our env instead of um where is it broadcast as log we will do pusher okay once this is done um i think from setup point of view one more thing which i need to show you is we did the uh, app.php and comment the broadcast right broadcaster service there is bootstrap js where you know we need to uncomment these so what are we doing we are importing echo from laravel echo we have pusher dot pusher js okay we in, did install both of them and then this two things are getting called from the environment okay and so we get an echo object window dot echo okay so yeah these things are fine um as far as the bootstrapping thing is concerned the setup is done now what we are going to do is here we are creating the comment okay and in here we have the entire comment object right so why don't we create a event and then we will you know fire that event here so php artisan make event uh in i'll create a folder called comment and in that comment created that should create this all right because we want to broadcast we need to um use this contract okay so should broadcast so we'll say it implements should broadcast what it will do is the broadcast on is available all right um there was something now you know typically what um okay rather than you know, why don't we do one thing once we have the data we will i will show you so now i will raise an event i'll say event new comment created okay this should ideally work i'll just need to serve the application again because i have made some env level changes so i have this here uh, pusher i'll go to debug console because i will be able to see certain things in here okay so let's see whether uh, so you can see a connection is already made okay now let's see if we can raise that event and we can see it here so i have to go to one video and i say checking if event is raised to pusher i hit save and now you can see this event is triggered unfortunately i didn't take the comment and that's why this problem is coming so what i will do is i'll st stick it here now one thing which you need to know is any public property in this class will be available as variables in in this okay the the object which is being you know uh, sent from pusher so i'll say public comment i'm getting the comment right so why don't we just initialize this okay and let's try once again okay once more i'll hit save it's there and now i'll get the entire comment object in here okay so our first step is uh, pretty much done you know we are able to send the data as far as our diagram goes we are able to create the comment in here we are able to raise this event to pusher now what we need to do is this part which is let the client um know that an event is event was fired from pusher and it needs to react to that event all right you know before we do that 
there are two things which we need to or rather uh, uh, one thing which I need to do is if you if we go to pusher you see the event name here is app events comment comment created it's basically taking the entire namespace which is not something which I want I would rather want something simple so what I will do is I'll have a public function uh, there was something called broadcast as it's not coming in this suggestion I don't know why but it's there so in that what I can do is I can return comment dot created okay now what is going to happen is so you can see this is the previous name right now if I add one more comment adding more comments hit save and in here my name has changed so you know just uh, to make things simple when I am you know referencing the event in my view component I just want to keep it very simple and that's why I have done it all right so this particular wrapper this comment wrapper needs to um, you know listen to the data right so we'll go into our YouTube comments comment wrapper view component okay we are listening to comment added which is fine um, you know whenever a new comment is posted that's why I'm able to see it here but the other users are not right so this is being taken care of now what I need to do is I will do something like window dot echo oh by the way if you want to check whether your echo object is coming properly or not now um, okay I have it yes if I refresh I don't know whether I have done it or not so let's say I'll come here and I'll say window dot echo and I have you know that that object okay so that's fine pusher key all these things are there and so now huh I need to see whether the console comes here or not right so I'll go to my component and I'll say window dot echo channel now created broadcast on this is our channel name we will name the channel as comment okay and why don't we keep it as a channel and not a private channel for now it's basically which will mean you know this broadcast is going to be uh, you know propagated to everyone and you know we are not going to check whether that particular user should get that data or not okay we are not checking because it's a public posted comment and so everyone should be able to see it there are other ways of handling private comments uh, sorry private channels which we are not capturing right now so name of the channel we are returning okay right I'm done doing that um, oops yeah so in here I'll say my channels name is comments and I am listening to an event which is comment dot created which is same as what I am broadcasting at okay let me just copy paste just to be sure that I'm not making any typos okay so this is the event I will get the event object obviously uh, and so um, what we can do is first of all console dot log event event and because we are handling new comment added is here right we can just say this handle new comment add okay and I'll just pass the comment all right so my node watch is running which means it should work I'll refresh this and I'll refresh this both the browsers okay let me open up the console in here 
Okay, both are working. I'll go here and same in here. Clear the consoles. And this time I'm going to through my office ID or the office user see if pusher data is visible. Okay, and hit save. It is visible here, but it's not visible here. So something is not working. Uh, let me see I think it's something to do with the naming convention I'm not sure so channel comments is the channel name which is fine um, oh yeah so you know, as far as the document goes if you know we are using a custom name to uh, you know the event we need to do a dot this is required i think that's the reason it was not working so i'll okay, refresh refresh i'll go to this video and this user is also on this video so we have two users two different users on this video and now let's try now let's try should add all right so duplicate keys 26 it is coming twice it's a bug which I know why it is happening but you can see at least we are getting it here okay which means this user when is commenting try one more comment okay and this time what I can do is let me put it here close this and put it here so we have this two side by side try one more comment and you can see it's coming here in real time the only problem is it is getting dispatched to the same user who is raising the event right and there is a nice way of handling that situation we don't need to do anything in our JavaScript just go into the channel and uh, sorry on the event and say this okay it's not loading so this um what is that don't broadcast to current user okay and that's all there it is now if i refresh hit refresh i'll go to this video again okay and now the error of duplicate should go away okay i hit save it's coming here only one time and this is one time as well right so yeah uh, that's how pusher is able to manage everything for us um, you can see every every data is visible here if you want you can play around and you know you can do this as well so let's just say you know if you want to do some debugging you can do that so comments it's comment created and in here I'll just send the event and it is coming here again on the second client as well so yeah you can play around with this uh, thing as well but yeah that's uh, you know how powerful pusher is it you know it easily manages all these you know real-time activities um, it has a big you know uh, limit in terms of you know free account so um, and I'm using it for as you as you can already see uh, two apps and uh, you know, I generally don't use up so much um, you know I don't have so much usage so the my daily count really never goes uh, near the limit so you can use it um, for chats if you know your user base is small maybe yes but definitely you know uh, certain things like that real-time notifications they are you know very simple with uh, pusher so yeah I highly recommend that and yeah that's about it you now that's how we do real-time comments thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and yeah do subscribe to my channel